Growing up at my church, I remember we were playing on the playground after the service. The gravel parking lot was our playground. We'd run around and hope not to get hit by a car. I remember when I volunteered to ride the church bus to mm. ride the church bus. Really? You better get in a car with somebody and have them follow the person who will follow that person who will follow the path. Best part was if I missed the service, I could always get the recording, record the service for you. Yeah, you better call sister so and so and have her tell you what happened. I just love going into worship and reading the screen with all the words to the song from the projector. <gasps> a screen and a projector with the words on it? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, we had people singing songs they didn't even know the words to, bro. I remember how toasty and warm it would feel in winter. The services would just be so inviting. We had to take a coat to go use the bathroom in the wintertime because the toilet was too cold to sit on. Uh oh, gas is down to a half a tank. Better get some gas. The gas light just came on. I still got like 30 miles. Better stay buckled up for safety. Oh shoot, that's a cop. Whoops, he's trying to get over. Better slow down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you thought you was getting over. Um. Excuse me, I would just like to say that I'm very disappointed in the way that you've been driving today. Oh, get out the car. Get out the car. Get out. He didn't even signal properly. Bro, you don't know what a signal light is? You don't know how to turn the signal light on? Uh-oh, there's a pedestrian in the street. Oop, I don't want to alarm them. What you walking in the street for? Get out the street. Howdy and good morning to you and a Merry Christmas too. I'm about to teach you three ways to survive eating on the holidays. Now you know most times we have to wait until the steam comes down off the food because it gets too hot to eat. But I have three surefire ways that you don't have to worry about it this holiday season. Three that is. If you apply these three ways during the holiday seasons, I can guarantee you're gonna eat good. Eat mighty good. And I mean, you'll have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year too. I just found out that I got into Liberty University, which means I'm about to be engaged. I'm so looking forward to getting my MRS degree. I heard you can get a ring by spring. I'm really excited about going to Convo, AKA Chapel to see what kind of guys I find. I shouldn't say fine because I know in the Bible it says he who finds a wife finds a good thing. So I'm not looking for him. I'm, he, I'm just going to make sure I'm available so that he can find me. I know I want him to be in ministry, but let's be for real. I don't want to be a pastor's wife. Plus, if he's a pastor, that means he's going to take like hard classes like theology, which means I have to take those classes. I want him to be something lighter in ministry like worship leader, youth pastor. So I need to figure out where the guys dorms are because I need to make sure I'm in the location because since they're not co-ed and we can't like casually meet in the hallway I have to make sure I'm standing out front I already have my major picked out so that he knows that I'm a true woman of God like a Proverbs 30 one 30 major in women's ministry with a minor in children's ministry so he knows I want children here I am wasting my gas going all the way around here to pick her up for service she better be glad pastor asked me because if he hadn't asked me I wouldn't be going over here <gasps> Now I got stuck behind this car. She's gonna make me late for service. It's okay, because when people talk about me being late, I'm gonna say, mm, it's because I had to go pick her up. Mm. Oh, and I bet you, I bet you, she not gonna offer me a cent, not a dime for gas, because she think, oh, pastor gonna give me some gas. When you know she got money, she should be giving me money. She should be giving me gas money for going all the way over here. Huh. It's like she ain't never even heard of Uber. Uber, like, bruh, like, you can take Uber to church. All right now, I'm here. Where's she at? Oh, there she go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. oh, hey girl, get in. Oh, no, 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 it's no problem. Girl, you call me anytime. Morning, y'all. I woke up to discover something when I was in the kitchen this morning making my coffee that my husband had did that I don't think he realized how much it annoys me. But you know my husband, he means well. And I'm sure you have a roommate or a spouse of some sort that may do the same thing, that it may or may not annoy you, but it annoys me. 
And I'm going to show you what it is. It is this. See this? It's a plastic fork. Why do we rewash it? Why do we need to put it in the dishwasher? Why do we need to wash it by hand or however we wash it and reuse it? We got all these forks. We need a plastic fork for. Just throw the thing away. Throw it away. Is that sister? Please don't see me. Oh my gosh, she's got to be doing this on purpose. She's got to be doing this on purpose. Uh, what else do I need to get? Oh my gosh. Well then leave the store. Leave the store. Just leave the cart. Leave the cart. Leave the cart. Hello. Thank you for calling Mobile Insurance Claims. How can I help you? Hi, my name is Leslie Robinson. Um, I was just calling to make a claim on my um, cell phone insurance policy. Sure, we'd love to help you with that, ma'am. What exactly is the claim? Well, um, my phone had a bit of an issue. Um, it got wet. Um, ma'am, I'm so sorry to hear that your phone got wet. Did it fall in the pool? Uh, did it fall in the dishwater, sure, or the dishwater when you were washing dishes? Uh, did you get caught in the rain? What exactly was the problem? No, nothing like that. Actually, um, it, um, it happened in my bra. I'm sorry, I missed that. Could you say that again? My bra. I'm sorry, could you say that one more time? My bra, my bra, my bra. I'm saying bra, bra, bra. Oh, I see. We get this call a lot in the summertime due to the increased amounts of sweat. But unfortunately, we're unable to help you. We consider that voluntary drowning. Have a great rest of your day. Why is Sister Leslie calling me? That's weird. Hello? Praise the Lord. This is Sister Leslie, financial secretary at the church. Praise the Lord. We were just calling to let you know that you are 97 days past due on your tithing payments. I'm I, I, I'm sorry. Are you are you serious? Are you kidding? Is this a joke? Oh no 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 no. We don't joke about these things. I, I, I um. Your total past due amount is seven hundred forty-seven dollars and fifteen cents. How would you like to take care of that today? What? Uh, come on. Oh. Hi, sir. You said you wanted to see me. I got the promotion? Oh, thank you. I've been praying for this. <laughs> thank you so much. Excuse me, can I just, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. Okay, okay, we're quick. Okay, sir, I'm back. Where can I begin?